Hello, son. Why aren't you opening? Are you there? It's our day. Now, daddy, I'm doing my makeup. We'll go soon. Are you putting on makeup? How? I wash my hair. I'm going to press this button and it'll buzz. I heard the sound of water. Are you in the bathroom? Yes. Son, are you in the bathroom with a hair dryer? Where's mom? Mom's asleep. Freeze. Don't move. Just stay where you are. Why are you knocking? Son, I was so scared. Come in. Hello, I'm on 11, Tremolova. Yes, hello, come in, have a seat. Tell me about it. Anton and I are getting a divorce. I have no claim to anything except the child. We have a son, five years old. But Anton won't let it go. What is his relationship with his son? A normal relationship. That's not the point. He just does everything to spite me. Why would you think that? I'm the one who left Anton for Andrew. We're together now. Anton can't stand it and forgive me. I see. Usually child welfare takes the mother's side when the child is under 10 years old. I know that Anton hired a lawyer. I don't know what kind of game he's playing. But all I want is for my son not to be taken away from me. I can't stand it. Yes. Are you alone? Yeah, come on in. Sit, sit. I just want to talk about our conversation yesterday. So? I solved the problem. Really? Thank you. First of all, I will install equipment that will give satisfactory readings in an express examination. Wait, that doesn't solve the global water quality issue. It doesn't. But, you know, I've moved on. I talk to my people at various levels. They will take care of the guarantees. Don't worry about that. I don't get it. Guarantees for what? They promise to get us off. Even in the event of fatalities, we'll be exonerated. But I don't think it'll come to that. How's that? Like this. I have some leverage. It's not my first year on the market. After all, so everything will be fine. Jenna, you... You must have misunderstood me. That's not what I'm worried about. You and I are criminals. I promise I'd keep quiet if you keep it quiet. But you haven't settled anything. You haven't solved anything. Calm down. Don't make me do it. If you don't decide anything, I'll decide it. I'll go to the prosecutor's office. I'll go to the anti-corruption bureau. I'll... I'm going to go public with this. Ivlev, you probably don't fully understand how much money there is and how high the stakes are. So I'm really asking you not to stand in my way. Give me a pass pass. Guys, practice is over for today. Well done. Hi, Mijia. Hi guys, hi. Michia, I'm sorry about those claims in the locker room. 
I lost control of myself, you know what I mean. It's okay, it's over. Max and I were worried that you wouldn't be at the competition. I'll be sitting in the bleachers, what can I do? It's our fault, me in particular, that you're taking so much time off, let's not talk about it, guys. We thought we'd give Kolesnikov an ultimatum. Coach, if Evlev doesn't play, then we won't either. You're out of your mind. We're serious. No, of course not. Why? We screwed up enough as it is in this story. Well, Midya, enough. I'll get over it. Relax. Good afternoon. I am Natalia Dremelova's lawyer. Can we talk to you? Natasha hired a lawyer, <clears throat> unexpectedly. Followed your lead. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Yes, I did hire a lawyer, just to sort out the formalities. So he could do all the paperwork. I don't want to mess with the bureaucracy. I don't need a lawyer to take away her parental rights, and you're wasting your time. It's a losing case. What makes you so sure? You probably don't know Natasha very well. I've lived with her for years, and not the happiest. She's psychotic and unstable, and she's only calm until the first dress. You can't trust her with a child. It didn't seem that way to me, to be honest. You know, there are devils in quiet places. She finished her modeling career not too long ago. And you know what she did? She did what? She started drinking. Drinking like crazy. Our son Max had to be given to Vitaly Afanasyevich, Natasha's father. Luckily, he lives nearby. And I had to do my best to get her off the booze myself. I thought it worked. But? But then the story with the juvenile bartender. That's her roommate, Andrew, right? Yeah. I thought she'd get over it and come back to the family. Well, she didn't. What's wrong? She's crazy. She can drink. She's unstable. She takes her sedatives and sleeps it off, and the child is alone. Aren't you exaggerating? She's asleep, and the kid's in the bathroom with a hair dryer. Is that normal? Is that an exaggeration? I agree. I can never be calm about my son. I'm already a nervous wreck myself. Look, I love Max. And I don't want him living with that inadequate mother and that sucker of a stepfather. Do you have the time to devote to your child? Yeah, I work a lot. Mostly at home, though, and I'd rather hire a good nanny and know that Max is okay. Because I can't be sure that the elements are being spent on the baby and not on a gym membership for that Andreisha. Come in. You'll forgive me for making such a mess? That's all right, I won't be long. Maxim, excuse me a moment. What happened here? I'm asking you, what have you done? How many times have I told you not to touch anything with your hands? Quickly go to your room and keep your head down. It's not a child, it's a hurricane. Excuse me, I'm listening. Natalia, I spoke to your husband's lawyer. And he does have a lot of chances to get custody. Why is that? 
He's working, he has a steady income, he has a flexible schedule. And your situation is a little different, you don't work, and the court might have doubts about your ability to support your child. Plus, this whole drinking thing. Did Anton tell you that? What a jerk! Look, it's all in the past. Nevertheless, the lawyer will stress it. Can't you help me? We can, of course, gather positive references from our side. Who can testify that you're a good mother? The kindergarten teachers. The neighbors. I think I got the wrong lawyer. You can't help me. The court will consider all the facts. Any lawyer will tell you that. Well, then I'll handle it without a lawyer. But no one's taking my son away from me. Why are you sitting there? I thought I fired you. If you change your mind, call me. You have the right to communicate with your son, even if he lives with his father. Good night. Who is this? Anton Dremelov, 34 years old. Programmer, lives alone, found out by a neighbor. She saw her brother in law locked up and got scared that an expensive computer had been stolen. But the computer is just there. Or has something else been taken? At first glance, no, it feels like it was intended for murder. Check out his work front, customers, competitors. I'll take care of his personal life. Copy. Excuse me. There was a business card on the shelf. Hello? Hi, are you asleep? Not yet. Tell me, is Anton Dremelov your client? He's my client's husband. Ex. What's the case? They're getting a divorce, and they can't split the baby. He's not claiming custody anymore. He was found dead. It looks like a murder. Hello? You said Dremelova wasn't your client anymore. Yeah, she fired me. Reasons? I told her husband had a good chance of winning his custody case. She wasn't happy with that. And when did you talk to her? Last night, I left her around 7 o'clock p.m. Neighbors heard a gunshot around 9.30 p.m. Do you think she might have? Killed Dremelov? Yes. I don't know. Of course she said something along the lines of no one's going to take my baby away from me. But to kill? I don't know. Okay. I'll go talk to Dremelova and her roommate. Can I come? Sure. Anya. I want you around all the time. Give me a chance. 
Mitty's back. Michio. I see. I have no chance at all for dinner. Let's go. Come on in. I don't offer tea. That's not the point. To what do I owe? Natalia Vitalievna, last night your husband was found dead in his apartment. Do you expect me to pay? As they say, good riddance. Where were you last night? At home. Can anyone confirm that? Only this one can confirm it. I left you at seven. And what happened after that? Nothing. I cooked. I fed my son. I waited for my husband from work. You didn't go out. Where to? I got a kid at home. And your roommate? Andre was at work in a bar. He came back at the beginning of 12. And your father? Are you going to check all my relatives or just the closest ones? Answer the question, please. My dad's out of town. He was in a sanatorium 300 kilometers away. So only your son can confirm that you were home at the time? Something like that. We'll have to talk to him. Are you guys all right? You want to interrogate Maxim? Naturally, in the presence of a psychologist and possibly you. What is it? The boy says his mother was at home after his and left, which I take it was you. He and his mother had dinner and she put him to bed at 9 p.m. That is, she was at home until 9 o'clock and then he was asleep and he didn't see his mother. So it goes like this. Thank you very much. Andrei Trishik. Yes. Investigator Rudenko. I am investigating the murder of Anton Dremilov. I know, Natalia already called. What was your relationship to the victim? A disgusting one. But I didn't kill him. So I'm not accusing you of anything yet. And where were you last night between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock p.m.? I was here, in an establishment, from 12 in the afternoon until closing time. You can ask Saryoga. Which Saryoga? Our administrator. Where have you been all night? Lunchtime is coming up. I called you all the time, and you just got here. Where I wanted to be. Kira, are you drunk? You're pregnant. Are you crazy? What difference does it make? You don't care. You don't care about us. I care about my children. I think I have done wrong to my family. But I will always take care of my child. My baby? How touching. Or is he not mine? Yours, not yours. What's the difference? What does it all mean? It doesn't mean anything. Calm down. 
Okay, okay, I'll ask. Are you pregnant by me? I'm wondering why you're only asking that question now. I asked you a question. From you. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll get a paternity test. Do whatever you want. I'll pack my bags and get out of here tonight. It's become like some kind of theater of the absurd. Well, get out. Ciao. Or did you think I'd put up with you going to another family's house? Thank you. Andre. Do you know who might have wished Drimalov dead? Think about it. I have no idea. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Andre. What have you gotten yourself into? I thought I had to cover for you in front of Natasha and then the cops came. Don't set me up like that again. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Okay, Alexander Alexandrovich, as soon as the tests are ready, you will receive a message from the clinic. Okay, please tell me. Are they accurate? I don't quite understand. How can you establish paternity without a test on the child? Science works wonders. It's a modern method developed by Canadian scientists just a few years ago. They discovered that the biological material of a pregnant woman contains fetal DNA. It's unbelievable. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. About Dremilov's business, there's no evidence. He worked alone. All orders were online. There's no one to share the money with. Currently, the only evident conflict of interest is with his wife. Natalia's alibi is also questionable. Maxim, Natalia's child, went to bed at 9 in the evening. In theory, he might not have heard Natalia leave and return. What about her partner, Andre? The administrator confirmed his alibi. Tretyak was at the bar until closing time. Yeah. There's also a report from the experts. The shot was fired from a pistol. Natalia Dremilova's father is a former military man who owns a pistol of the same model. He also has an alibi. I called the sanatorium, and he couldn't have arrived in the city so quickly without anyone noticing. Anya, the owner's weapon should be kept in a safe while he was in the sanatorium. Theoretically, either Tretyak or Dremilova could have opened the safe, taken the pistol, and committed the crime. We need to have the pistol examined to confirm if it was the one used in the shooting. Absolutely right. Klimov is returning tomorrow morning. I suggest we meet him. By the way, the bar where this Tretyak works has an excellent menu. Maybe we can have dinner there. Pasha, I don't want to have dinner. Besides, the workday is already over, isn't it? Anya, how much longer can this go on? I've explained everything to you in plain terms. Are you happy with me? Fine, Pasha. So what's the matter? We clearly rushed into this, to move on from past relationships. We need time. For whom, you? And not for you. Not for me. Have a good evening, Pasha. Good night. Anything else? Yes, pour me a drink. Pour me one, not for work. And repeat it immediately. Is our job both dangerous and difficult? Yeah. 
Or is it personal? Something like this. Tell me about it. Confession to the bartender. Classic. Classic. I met her when we were students. We started dating. Kind of love. And that's when I realized she was the one. And she met someone else. A little older. A little more dignified. Got married. Gave birth to his son. We haven't seen each other in years. We just recently met. I'd already split up with my wife. I think she's getting a divorce, too. I thought it was fate. But it's not working. It's not working. Maybe she just doesn't love me. She never did. Yeah. Maybe she did. I'm buying. Go for it. Hey, man. Good to see you. Hi, you too. Get me that cool orange umbrella thing. Just a minute. It was so depressing without you here yesterday, just pouring beer. Are you sick by any chance? I'm fine. Freeze. Good morning. Hi. How is Dremilova's young husband? He's not talking yet. If we manage to establish that Kremilov's gun was used, Trishik won't get away with it. That's why I released him on his own reconnaissance. Here's Klimov. Thank you, Alexei. Have a safe trip. Klimov, Battalia Fantasy Evic. That's the one. Hello. Hello. Investigator Rudenko. What can I do for you? We need to check your service weapon. Might, the gun is in the apartment in a safe. That's why I'm sure it's safe and sound. Let's go right this way. First floor. Come on in. I'll get the key. Do you keep the key to the safe in your apartment? Of course I do. Only in a secret place. As they say, the needle is in the egg. The egg is in the dock. What are you doing? That's how unpredictable life is. Vitalia Fantasievic, don't. A child should not be left without its mother. I killed Anton. Yeah, Anton Obil. The Lady Sadovea 16, Apartment 7, a man here threatens a police officer with a gun. Pasha.
Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I really want to go home, but they won't let me go yet. How's our shooter? He's still unconscious, but the doctors say he'll be fine. It's a shame about Grandpa. Well, at least he's alive. Anya. When I get out of here, will you come see me? I'll make you something delicious. You can't refuse the wounded. What kind of rule is that? You made that up? Yeah. And then, hum, when I get out of here, I'll be there. But we only agree on dinner and nothing more. Of course, no problem. Would it be embarrassing for your son if you stayed late at my place? No. On the contrary, he wants me to arrange my personal life. I have my doubts. You know what I don't understand? How Klimov managed to get out of the sanatorium, that's 300 kilometers, and come back unnoticed. I sent my guys to the sanatorium, had them check it out again. I think tomorrow we'll know what's what. Kira, someone is calling you. Go open it. I'm not expecting anyone today. Alexander Alexandrovich. Where is Kira? Who's there? Kira. What kind of people? Hi. If Lev A is not the father of the child, what is this? It means that I am not the father of your child. You know that's a mistake, don't you? Plus, it doesn't matter who the biological father is, it's who raised the child. I understand. Have fun. Wait. Where are you going? Hello? Hi. I watched the report Dremelov was killed with Klimov's gun. But I don't think he was the shooter. Why not? Come to Dremelova's address. I'll meet you there. You're supposed to be in the hospital. They're discharging me today. I wanted to surprise you. Change of plans. I'll see you there. Good afternoon. Andrusha, go see who came to us again. Hello? Hello? Anything else? Have a seat. Natalia Vitalievna. New information has emerged during the investigation, revealing new details. Previously, you claimed that you were not in the city at the time of your father's murder. Yes, I told. That's true. But on that day, someone fired shots from his gun. Someone who had the keys to the apartment and access to the safe where his weapons were stored. The shooter fired six random shots. Three bullets hit your husband in the abdomen, leg and head. This doesn't resemble the handwriting of a soldier. Moreover, there were fingerprints on the gun that didn't belong to your father. We need to obtain your fingerprints and yours as well. 
That's why I'm asking you to come with me to the police station. What will happen to my son? What will happen to Maxim? Natasha, calm down. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Let's step aside and talk for a minute. Listen, let's make a deal. How much do you want to bury this case? Are you suggesting bribing a public official? Come on! Don't be like that. You understand that Natalia didn't want to do this. She simply had no other choice. If they took her child away, she wouldn't have survived. Can you come today? If Natalia Vitalievna makes a sincere confession, the court will take it into account. Can't you see the situation? The boy's father is dead. The grandfather may not recover. The child will be left an orphan. I understand all that, but she committed a crime and must face the consequences. I won't allow the child to stay with such a hysterical person like you. He is my son. You have no heart. To run. How did you understand? It wasn't difficult. We double-checked Klimov's alibi. He didn't leave the sanatorium all evening. He was playing cards. Six people can confirm that. So someone fired from his gun either Natalia or Tretiak. Exactly right. It's a shame for the boy he's left without parents. I hope the grandfather recovers. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It will heal before the wedding. Are you sure? Absolutely. Wasn't it too soon for you to be discharged? Anya, do you want them to put me back in the hospital or you just don't want to come over in the evening? I'll come to you. I'll stop by home for an hour and then come. There you are. I noticed that you sometimes come here. Decisions are made here. What do you want, Borea? I wanted to know if you were in the office or not. Should I close the doors? It's getting late. Don't close them yet. I'll be there soon. Have all the decisions been made? Almost all. Is it related to the well or problems with... Sorry, I forgot your wife's name. Kira wasn't my wife. She was my mistress. We broke up yesterday. She deceived me, and I deceived my wife. Tomorrow... Tomorrow I'll do the right thing. And it concerns her well. Tomorrow, I've decided to go to the prosecutor's office. But your signature is on the documents. I know. Well, I know, Boris. I'm ready to take responsibility for everything. It's up to you. Anya, it's me. Don't hang up. I left Kira. Her child is not mine. I have nothing to do with it. And what? I don't know. I really want to come back to you. 
Vio, or rather, I don't want anything else but to come back to you. But I can't do it now. I haven't resolved everything yet, but soon I will and I'll be able to. I'll be able to ask for your forgiveness with a clear conscience. Good night, Anna. I love you very much. Hello? Senior, hi, I need to talk. Let's meet. When? Right now. I'll send you the restaurant's address. Okay. Are you telling the truth now? Of course. Just think about it. I'm not my own enemy. I also want everything to go smoothly. I thought you were right. I'll rewind the tape. I'll put the project on hold. I'll replace the well with a more environmentally friendly one. Damn the money. You were right. Can I really trust you? Of course, Sasha, I just need time. I'll fix everything. But while I'm dealing with it, I beg you, don't interfere. Don't. You have three days. Yes. Anya, I'm ready, get ready. I'll pick you up in 20 minutes. Pasha, I'm sorry, I won't come. Thank you. 